we're going to talk about auto size. Uh, this has been like an important feature. I'm not sure, maybe you have tried it and you did it. Uh, but unfortunately, until today, I've never like tried it or did it or even the, even though I tried it, but it never worked out for me. So I was working on one project and I was thinking like, what if I will try this, this, these things to do and maybe it will work because for that project, I will need auto size. Uh, but before we start the video, uh, I would like to introduce you our academy, Flutterflow Academy, where you can become a Flutterflow developer in two months and you'll be able to do really hard uh, mobile apps or web apps. So please just go to our website, uh, go to willaflutterflow.com slash academy and you're welcome to join. So uh, let's start. Okay, so here we have a page. We got like uh, text with different sizes, right? And if you see that I have chosen iPhone 13 Pro Max, Okay, I can choose uh, any else one. So what we do, if we right now change it to iPhone mini, you see what's happening, right? Like the size is not changing and it goes to a second line. So this one, this one, this one's there cool. Uh, there are no problems with that, but we want this one to become smaller. So what we do, uh, we choose the text go down here we can turn on the auto size option and max lines click just write down number one let's say and let's see iPhone 13 see it becomes smaller and if we write like 200 okay it becomes smaller same with that one auto size one line and that one auto size one line but it's not going to change anyway just 36 yep so yeah if you have any questions just get in touch and we can test any else like for example we can get ipad and for the ipad we want it to be like 400 see we go to iphone mini it becomes smaller iphone pro and whatever you want cool if you have any questions just comment it like the video and subscribe guys please subscribe thank you so see you soon bye bye